If you've never been to the wine country in Northwest Michigan, you almost can't believe it exists. I just got back from my maiden voyage to what they're now calling the Traverse Wine Coast and from the hip and lively community of Traverse City to the scenic M22 highway, it truly redefines the phrase North Coast. I'm David Parfit. I'm the executive producer of Cork Stories, a budding video production company specialized in serving the wine industry through sales videos and branded content. Cheers. After a trip to Napa Valley with my good friend and business partner, Nick Shear, we noticed there was a big void in the wine industry when it comes to high quality video that you can share in person or on any digital platform. So after making a successful video with Wollersheim Winery, a wonderful winery in Wisconsin, I set sail with my girlfriend, Ashley, to go up to the booming wine region and see if I can meet some people in the industry. Our first stop was Black Star Farms on their Leelanau Peninsula location. The grounds were spectacular. In addition to the vines, they've got a beautiful inn. They've got a farm to table cafe. They are a working farm. There's a lot to see there. About six acres of their vines were on the grounds there. They are the third largest producer of wine in the area, so they actually have vines all over, not only the Leelanau Peninsula, but the Old Mission Peninsula as well. Just a gorgeous day to be there. I would kill to go to a wedding there someday. So friends, if you're listening, looking for a location, Black Star Farms, excellent choice. Then we headed over to one of the newer wineries, Bonobo Winery on Old Mission Peninsula. They've got a star-studded cast of owners and chefs. It's a beautiful place. Definitely a little newer and reminds me of some of the older wineries I've seen out in Napa, California. It's a great place to get a tasting, great place to bring a big group. As anyone that's been there will tell you, it is a perfect location to watch a sunset on the Grand Traverse Bay. And you absolutely have to unquestionably go get your picture taken on their exquisite Bonobo mural. Really impressive place. I can't wait to see what comes from them in the next couple of years. Our last wine stop of the trip was at Shady Lane Cellars back on the Leelanau Peninsula. I was really blown away by the sheer size that they've got going there. Even though it is big in land, they have this beautifully intimate little terrace that's just a fantastic place to get tastings. They are located right off the Traverse Area Recreation and Transportation Trail, the TART. So if you do find yourself biking on the Leelanau Peninsula, hop over there. It's a great place to get a tasting on that terrace, play some bags, even listen to some live music. So in conclusion, I was just really blown away by this area. I had never been up there, but since then, I've talked to my parents about it, my friends, Ashley's talked to her parents. They're all planning trips to go there. I think we're gonna plan an annual trip there. Big thanks to all three wineries that had us, to Black Star Farms, to Bonobo Winery, to Shady Lane Cellars. We really enjoyed the tastings, the tours, and we'll definitely be back for more. Thanks so much for watching this. If you want to keep up with what we're doing at Cork Stories, you can follow us on Facebook, you can follow us on Instagram, you can subscribe to us on YouTube, and we will see you down the road.